Hey everyone, it's Lick Friday 284 and this week's lick is a killer in the sense of it uses shape one of the pentatonic and it sounds flipping awesome, but here is the lick. There it was, so it's pretty quick. Um, it only uses hammer-ons and pull-offs and you've got a reoccurring pattern which goes through that pentatonic scale. Now, the nice thing about it is, if you get used to that reoccurring pattern, this one, where it goes, you can play that over any pentatonic scale you like. So it gives you a whole fretboard of completely insane riffage as you go through that pentatonic scale. Um, so the nice thing about this one is it's got a, a real kick to it and it's sort of burst of energy. It's quite impressive and it allows you to sort of go from one end of the pentatonic all the way through it and then ending with a nice bend and it's just like a complete and utter awesome licking one. <laughs> Um, so, the backing track itself, I'm going to put up the uh, a part of the unfinished version at the end of this um, video for you guys to actually practice this over. But if you do want the full version, finished as well, um, you can go to my Patreon page, uh, which is patreon.com forward slash Dan's page. And it's all linked up there and in the uh, description below. And there'll also be a lesson on there as well, um, which will give you extra things to do over this track, ways to play over it, what to use. Um, so if you're interested in learning more and extending this Lick Friday video, come along, visit me on that Patreon page. Now if you just want the tab for this, you can visit dansguitar.com and download the PDF. It's all on there, it's all free, so jump along and see uh, if you can find it. I'm sure you can. Um, but if you need any more information, please email me or message me in the comments below. And um, I shall leave you now with the breakdown. Okay, so it's straightforward enough as far as what you need to put into this. Um, it's just going to be that technique and things, which is going to be the killer. So... So the pattern changes on that last little section where you're on strings one and two, but for strings five and four, three and two, no, nope. five and four, four and three, three and two, they are the same. Um, apart from the frets, so it changes on strings three and two. But we have a pick on the 12th fret of the fifth string, hammer to the 14, then pick the 12th fret again, pick the 14th fret on that D string, pull off back to the 12, and then pick the 14 on that fifth string. So. So if you can practice that as just a standalone kind of lick in many ways. That would do you proud. So um, next one is exactly the same, but on strings four and three. So you've got 12 on the four, hammer to 14, then it's 12 on the third, picked, and then you pick the 14, same string, pull off back to the 12, and then pick that 14 on the fourth string. So, so if you look at my picking hand, so I've got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And eventually, once you get used to that pattern and you start it slow, keep it even, you'll end up with the motor memory kicking in, or motor skills, and then it just happens. It just works naturally. So Then the next section is basically strings three and two. Same thing, but this time, instead of 14 on the second string, you've got the 15 because it's following the shape of the pentatonic as you go through it. So this one, we have third string, 12. Hammer to the 14, second string is 12 pick, pick the 15, pull off to the 12, and then pick that 14 on the third string. So, okay. 
can choose what fingers you want to use. Um, I can't actually remember what I used when I played it. But I used my little finger, there you go. Um, so it's amazing what happens when you start playing this slowly because you kind of forget about, um, especially when you've played it fast, you kind of forget about the way you actually play it. But that works, so my little finger came in. You can use whatever fingers you want. You can use your third finger or you can use your second finger, whatever your technique allows you to use, basically. Okay, now after you've done, you've got, and then that there. So that little section is kind of similar. We've got the 12 on the second string, hammered to the 15, to the 12 on the first string, pick the 15 as well, and then pull that off back to the 12. Um, and then to the 15 on the second string. So that section is the same. But instead of stopping there, we're going back to the 12 on the first string, back to the 15 on the second, pull off to the 12, and then strike in the 15 with a bend. And then add in vibrato. So that little one is... Okay, so I'll play the whole thing slower for you now. Here it goes. One. played it triplet pattern then but it should be 16th notes so if we've got one two three four it should be that so There we have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell button, and follow me on all that social media. I hope to see you all soon, and that is the end of Lit Friday 284.